Yeah, good afternoon everyone. VK2 HSS. Just doing a fresh Davis Weather Instruments video for any of you who are considering buying one of these weather stations from Davis. Today is Sunday 31st of October 2021. Coming to you from Juneau just outside the township of Juneau, New South Wales, Australia, for any of my international viewers. So as you can see, we've got the uh, Davis Weather Instruments weather station installed. I bought it back in February this year. So she's been up and running for a fair while now. And initial reports, it works fantastically. <laughs> Haven't had any issues, it transmits by this black antenna here back to my office which is all the way back over in the house over here no communication problems at all uh, it's a real mecca for spiders little little spiders weaving their web uh, all around it particularly um, where I have the uh, animal cable wound up and also underneath the uh, behind the uh, solar panel so um, that needs constant maintenance in terms of sweeping away the cobwebs being careful not to break the little can, uh, the little wires that are connected to the back of the solar panel as you can see there so a few thoughts um, just coming back to these wires here that connect the solar panel up, run along here. Come back a bit so you can get my finger out of the shot. And then they go in to the 24 hour aspirated fan in there. They're not shielded, there's only a single, single shield on the, a uh, single sheath on the cable. And what I have been noticing over a fair bit of time is that the UV exposure, because it's exposed to the sunlight all day, every day, that it's slowly deteriorating the sheath on those little 12 volt wire. And so that's a, that's a real, uh, that's something that I feel Davis could improve on in future models. And if anyone from Davis is watching this video, that's definitely a room for improvement there. What I've tried to do to mitigate the uh, degradation to the sheath of the cable is by putting, I put some heat shrink, this red heat shrink. I just uh, got a very small diameter heat shrink, cut, sliced it down the middle and of cable tied that heat shrink on. Just to act as a barrier uh, whether it's uh, from rain, but more importantly, a barrier from the UV, because as we know, UV really attacks everything. And if left there, eventually it would fall apart and uh, go, uh, would short. So that's an area of improvement that Davis can start to look at in future models. I'm surprised they haven't actually had feedback and maybe they have, but, um, I would like to see something like that in the future. Um, apart from that, everything else seems to be rock solid. The solar panels obviously require a bit of cleaning from time to time. We get a, f a fair few dust storms that blow in here um, over summer. And so that just needs a, just a light clean. Uh, whether it gets cleaned by when it rains or whether you clean it yourself. Just standing up here a bit and giving you a bit, obviously the label, the little yellow label warning um, to remove the uh, cable tie. <laughs> I left that on and it's still slightly sticking there. Obviously most people would remove that, but I just wanted to see how long it would take before it fell off. Um, no problems with the uh, anemometer at all wind vane all works perfectly and it's all been installed as per the instructions sent out by Davis 
again lots and lots of uh, um, spider web accumulates around these bolts and whilst it doesn't affect the operation of the weather station it sure does um, I think over time it's, it's you know it, it sort of just needs to be cleaned away so I do that fairly regularly a um, fair bit of dirt does accumulate just in the rain inside the uh, I don't know if you can see that, but in here, a bit of dirt gets in there and I just take the cover off and um, and give that a bit of a, a wipe out. When you do take this rain gauge cover off, just be real careful. It is quite stiff and over months and months of sitting in a single place and not being rotated, it can be a bit hard to get off. Um, and once you do have it off, the little um, sensor that the water falls into, the little cup, is very, very sensitive to wind and, uh, and you can activate that cup just by a gust of wind um, whilst you have that cover off, which then gives you a, a false reading that you've received rain. Uh, I'm, as you can see, running the 24-hour aspirated version. So you've got your 24 hour fan in here, in this section, and then down here is, is where it's drawing the air through in the sensor to take the measurement of temperature. Um, looks like during manufacture of this particular unit, and I'm saying it's probably similar to others, there's a little bit of a dob of, looks like a glue, and that, that hardened bit of glue. I'm not sure if other people who are using the Davis Weather Station have got that same sort of manufacturing. I wouldn't call it a fault, but obviously it's been a bit too much glue used and it, it, obviously it uh, remains on the surface. Again, it's an area where it can attract dirt, dirt settles on, all that sort of thing. Um, just for people who haven't watched my other videos, I'm just using old um, truck brake drums um, which go on big semi-trailers and big trucks, prime movers as, uh, as a mounting point for my um, tripod that I bought from Davis I just bought the whole lot from them and it's a nice uh, solid mount each uh, brake drum weighs about 45 kilos don't know what that is in pounds for you Americans and people who use the old imperial system but in metric it's about 45 kilos each so we've got well over 100 kilos anchoring the um the tripod down it certainly doesn't move in the highest of winds and we get very windy weather here i live in a, a very shallow valley and the wind really rips through here at times so no movement at all rock solid um, that's about it for this update. Um, I just thought I'd take it. As I said, no reportable issues with it. It's been working flawlessly since the day I received it and put it up. It transmits beautifully back to the, um, back to the office where I have the Davis, uh, weather uplink connected to my router and it's, it's, it's uploading all the time. And uh, the app on my iPhone works beautifully. I access it whenever I want. I'm, I'm looking at it multiple times each day. And uh, very, very highly accurate instrument. So high commend uh, commendations to Davis for, for manufacturing a, a very well-built weather station, as I'm sure most of you would, would agree. Rightio, this is VK2HSS and uh, We'll speak to you again a little bit later. Bye for now.